Right guys, in this video we are going to discuss few questions on DC motors. Let's see this question. A separately excited DC motor about the separately excited DC motor. Armature resistance they given 0.5 ohms runs from a 250 volts of supply. Supply voltage they given 250 volts. Drawing an armature current they given armature current of 20 amperes which rotating at 1500 rpm. Actually, these are belongs to the 1500 rpm speed. For the same field current, if the field current is same, nothing but the flux is same. The torque developed by the machine, the torque developed by the machine, not at 20 amperes, they are asking at 10 amperes. When the armature current is 10 ampere, what is the torque developed by the machine? Now they are asking. So how we can calculate? First calculate torque here. This is a shunt motor or separately excited motor. In separately excited motor, torque is directly proportional to IA where flux is already constant. Let's calculate the torque with respect to 20 amperes. Then we can calculate here. Otherwise, otherwise we need to calculate the torque at 10 amperes, nothing but we should calculate the speed at 10 amperes. Anyway, you can calculate. Let's draw, let's say torque T. What is the formula for torque T? The power output is equals to 2 by n by 60 into T. What is power? Simply the power is equals to Eb into Ia. Eb into Ia is equals to 2 by n by 60 into T. This is what the formula, right? What is Eb? Eb is nothing but V minus Ia Ra. Eb is equals to V. V is a 250 minus, let's take it Ia is 20 and Ra is 0 0.5. What is the answer? Is a 240. Eb is a 240 volts. Substitute in the place of Eb, 240. In the place of Ia, 20 is equals to 2 pi n. n is a 1500 upon 60 into T. 0, 0 cancel, 0, 0 cancel, 2, 2 cancel, 3, 2 is a, 3, 5 is a, 5, 1 is a, 5, 4 is a, 20, 5, 8 is a. So, the torque T is equals to 48 into 2. 48 into 2 is nothing but around 96 by pi. The torque T is equals to 96 by 5 at the rate 20 amperes of current. I calculated at 20 amperes of current. Generally, they will ask you like equations. But they changed again the same current, same field current, the torque developed for armature current of 10 amperes. Torque directly proportional to Ia, where Ia is equals to 20 amperes, the torque given as 96 by pi Newton meters. If the torque is 10 amperes, Nothing but the torque is halved. When the current is halved, torque also halved, then the answer will be 48 by pi wave. 48 by pi Newton meters will be your answer. Newton meters will be your answer. Torque directly proportional to IA. T2 by T2 by T1 is equals to IA2 by IA2 by IA1. IA2 by IA1. So, T2 is equals to 1 by 2 times of T1. What is T1? T1 is a 96 by pi. 96 by pi. 2 1s are 248 za. So, what will be the answer? 48 by pi. If you not understand directly, you can go through that. It's a simple question, sir. 48 by pi is your answer. Right? Let's go for next question. 240 volts DC shunt motor. They given voltage amount. Voltage is a 240. With an armature resistance, they given 0 0.5. With a full load current, they given full load current of 40 amperes. Full load current of 40 amperes. Find the ratio of stalling torque to stalling torque to full load torque. Stalling torque to full load torque. When the Resistance of 1 ohm is connected in series. Actually, why they are added in series of 1 ohm resistor? In order to getting the stalling. What is stalling here? The stalling is nothing but the 
zero speed. Stalling is nothing but the zero speed in order to get a zero speed. When you will get zero speed, the back EMF should be zero, then you will get zero speed. This is a simple trick. So, back EMF is equals to formula V minus IA RA, but in order to get a zero speed, here some extra one ohm is added. Zero speed, nothing but zero back EMF, voltage they given 240 minus IA into what is RA? RA 0 0.5 plus 1, 1.5. If you bring here, IA is equals to 240 by 1.5. Nothing but 2400 by 15. Let's calculate. 15 ones are 15 ones are 15, 90, 15 six are. So, what is the answer? The armature current at stalling. Armature current at stalling is 160 amperes. Armature current at full load is 40 amperes. Now they are asking stalling torque to full load torque. What we know, the torque directly proportional to IA. Torque directly proportional to IA because this is a DC shunt motor. So stalling torque to full load torque is nothing but armature current at stalling by full load current. Full load current. What is the armature current at stalling? Because of 160 amperes. And this is 40. This is a 4. This is a 4. So, the answer will be 4. Sir, why this is much more than full load? Because EB0, when EB0, heavy currents flows through the machine. Heavy currents flows through the machine. 4 to 5 times, approximately 5 times, 4 times. It's a very simple. So, of course, the answer may be either 4 or 6. 12 is not correct mostly. Because the starting current when EB0, the current may be in the range of 5 to 6 times, 4 to 6 times. We may go for this one also. But if you calculate it, you will get the exact answer for this question four times. Next. A DC shunt motor running at, it is running at 1200 RPM. When excited by 220 volts, excited voltage, field excited and the motor excited, everything is same for shunt motor. In shunt motor, supply given to the motor and field is same. Neglecting the losses and saturation, the speed of the motor when connected to, now they are asking, when voltage given to 175 volts, what will be the speed? What will be the speed? Actually, the speed directly proportional to EB by 5. The EB is directly proportional to voltage. Of course, 5. 5 is nothing but ISH. ISH is nothing but V by RSH. ISH is nothing but V by RSH. ISH is nothing but V by RSH, nothing but the phi is also directly proportional to voltage. When the voltage is changes, in both the cases, the factor is same. When the factor is same, the both the factors gets cancelled, again you will get the same answer. So, in shunt motor, remember that, if it is a DC shunt motor, in DC shunt motor, if voltage increases or decreases, if voltage increases or voltage decreases, there is no effect, no effect on speed. There will be zero effect on speed. The speed will be Z. No changes. No changes. No changes means your answer is at 1200. Is at 1200. Next. Next. A 240 volts DC series motor. Now it is a DC series motor, guys. Takes 40 amperes takes 40 amperes rated voltage and speed of 1000 rpm sorry 1500 rpm it is rotating at 1500 rpm taking the 40 amperes its resistance they given resistance nothing but in series machine resistance nothing but ra plus rsc they given as 0 0.3 ohms the value of resistance the value of extra resistance they are asking to be added to obtain Rated torque, torque is constant. They are asking torque constant. Torque constant is flux and IA should be constant. Of course, this is a speed control method. During the speed control, I told you already armature current constant. Here we need to maintain torque constant. So, flux also constant. There is no change in flux. 
Torque constant they given. We know that armature current constant. If both are maintaining constant, nothing but flux also constant. So what is the formula? The speed is directly proportional to EB when the flux is constant. Actually, the speed is directly proportional to EB by 5. Actually, EB by 5. But here the flux is constant. So, N2 by N1 is equals to EB2 by EB1. EB2 by EB1. What is N2? N2 is a 1000, sir. N1, N1 is a 1500, sir. N1 is a 1500, sir. Is equals to EB2. EB2 is equals to V minus IA. What IA given? 40. IA into RA plus RSC plus extra resistance. Now we need to calculate that extra resistance. EB2 is nothing but second point. First point is that 250 minus IARA. 250 minus IARA. 0, 0 gets cancelled. So 500 2s are 500 3s are. So 2 by 3 is equals to 240 minus 40 into 0 0.3 plus R divided by 240 minus 12. 240 minus 12 is a 228. Yes or no? Is it cancelled for a 3 table? 3 ones are, 3 sevens are. 21, 3 six are, 18. So this value will come here. 72 double, 76 double, 140, 152. 152 is equals to 240 minus 40 into 0 0.3 plus R. 0 0.3 plus R. Bring here, bring here. So, so 40 into... 0 0.3 plus R is equals to is equals to 240 minus 152. Uh, how much sir? 88. 240 minus 150. Let's take 150. 150 nothing but 50 plus 40. 90 but 88. So what is the answer sir? 0 0.3 plus R is equals to 4 tens are 4 22 are. 22 by 10. 22 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.3 plus R is equals to 2.2. .2. What is the R value? The R value will be 1.9, right? How much added to 0 0.3 to get 2.2? .2? How much, sir? 1.9. 1.9. 1.9 will be our answer. It's a lengthy question, but easy question. If you solve, you will get the answer. So, how we can compensate time? Nothing. Just... The practice, practice, practice. You should practice more. You should calculate fast. That's it. Nothing is there. Okay, sir. Next. 200 volts, 2000 RPM. The given voltage and the speed, speed and the armature current separately excited DC motor. Armature resistance, they given 2 ohms, guys. Rate of DC voltage applied armature and field for field and armature they are applying rated voltage if armature current draws again they changes armature current is 5 amperes from the source okay initially 10 amperes but now if it is 5 amperes the torque developed by the motor what is the torque developed by the motor how we can how we can calculate this one this one also as usually previously what we discussed as usually, let's calculate torque here. Then after, this is a separately excited torque directly proportional to IA, half of that one, half of that one. Otherwise, we can calculate directly here, but we need to calculate the speed, etc. That is, uh, our, our uh, is simple. EB, what is EB? EB is equals to V minus IARA, V minus IARA, which is equals to 180. What is the formula? EB into IA is equals to EB into IA is equals to 2 pi N by 60 into T. EB is a 180. IA is a 10. 2 pi into speed is a 2000 by 60 into T. Let's calculate 1, 2, 1, 2, 0, 0 gets cancelled. 2 1s are, 2 3s are. 2 1s are, 2 9s are. So what is the torque? Torque at rate 10 amperes. Torque at rate 10 amperes is equals to 9 threes are 27, right? 27 by pi. 27 by pi. This is torque at rate 10 ampere. 
Now the torque directly proportional to IA. Now I have to calculate the torque at rate 5 amperes. Nothing but the current is off to torque also off. So torque at rate 5 amperes is equals to 27 by 2 pi. 27 by 2 into pi is a 6.28. What will be the answer? You need to calculate. Approximately, of course, there is no approximation. All are nearer values. 4.0, 4.1, 4.2, 4.3. All are the nearer values, of course. So, 6 fours are 24. Approximately 4. So, you need to calculate carefully. Now, I am doing with the calculator. But you need to calculate carefully in the exam. 4.299. 4.299. 4 okay. So, let's calculate 27 divided by 2 divided by pi. If you calculate divided by pi, 2.97 something. Approximately 4.3. 4.3 will be our answer. 4.3 will be our answer. Okay? Okay, guys. This is what about the calculations. Here we need some patience. Here we need some patience. Next one. DC series motor driving electric train. Of course, DC series motors are used to uh, drive a train. A constant power load. The given power is constant. If it is running at rated speed and rated voltage, if the speed has to be brought down to actually power nothing but speed into torque. Now they are telling that the power is constant. Power is constant. Speed has to be brought down to 0.25 per unit. Nothing but 75% reduced. In order to reduce this 0.25 uh, percentage, we have to increase. We have to increase this. The torque will be increased. Brought down to 0.25 percentage, nothing but we need to increase this much more. Okay, now the supply voltage has to be approximately brought down to approximately brought down to nothing but how we can calculate, sir. This, uh, for example, let's see here, this is reduced up to 1 by 4 times. Don't think silly, silly, because. If it is reduced up to 0 0.25, nothing but we need to increase up to 0 0.75 is wrong answer. This is reduced up to 1 by 4 times, nothing but we need to increase this by 4 times. The torque has to be increased by 4 times. We need to increase the torque 4 times. The supply voltage has to be. There is no any relation between them. But what we know, torque directly proportional to, this is a series motor. This is a series motor, torque directly proportional to I square, where the torque increased by 4 times nothing but the armature current has to be increased double. The armature current has to be increased double. What about power? Let's take power is equal to EV into IA, of course V into IA. The power should be constant. Here the power should be constant. The voltage, what about voltage? They are asking. The current has to be double. If the current is double, torque is 4 times. If the torque is 4 times, speed brought down to 1 by 4 times, then the power is constant. Depending on, depending on, depending. Now, if the current is doubled, nothing but the voltage has to be halved. The voltage has to be halved. Here, voltage halved, voltage halved, current doubled. Current doubled. When the voltage halved, the current doubled, the power is constant. When the current doubled, the torque will be increased by 4 times. When the torque increased by 4 times and the speed reduced by 1 by 4 times, 1 by 4 times, then again the power is constant. Then the power is constant. What is our motto? Power is constant. What is our motto? Power is constant. So, dependence of, dependence of, dependence. So, what is the answer, sir? Is a simple way. The voltage has to be halved. Halved nothing but the voltage reduced up to 0.5 per unit.